just keeps going and going and going. That's so very tall. Wow. We're stretched out enough to give you a small delta. We'll see your mute. Okay. So there's more focus yeah. fluid flow right at the top where the tube worms are covered more bacterial matter. That's the most active flow. Oh, yes. We oh. two years ago did a, a temperature measurement, just putting the temperature oh, yeah, down in here, and nice. this measured at 57. But if we got deeper in, in it could be hotter. Yeah, this is an interesting structure feature. Uh, yeah, there's something up here we didn't. Is that a little chimlet? Uh, yeah. It's this whole tube worm bush. There's white and red anemones, but no pink ones. Hmm. Wow. Well, dun, dun, dun. This may be a good site to get. Oh, look at that nice flow up there. Oh, wow. I, I think the, the big, long, smooth tubes are fast growing. And when they grow slow, they look more like lamella brachia. They're sort of more fluted and more opaque, and yeah. they just have grown more slowly. It is the end of the horn, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Coming around the end of uh, Cape Tube Worm. Look at these ones. They're like straight, and then these ones are all like... Wiggly. Matted, matted together in some ways. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how the growth rate's associated with the flow rate, so maybe when they settlement like post-recruitment, they might grow really quickly and really straight. Mm -hmm. And like some of the tubes we've seen have been really thin and almost transparent. Yeah, and they then when we've had I think I see rock in the upper right there, which would make There's sense. There's so many tube worms here. Kirk, it doesn't look like you've There's got anything over the floor. There's tons of flow through here. Yeah, up there. You should be pretty okay to keep following this around. Yeah. 